Hello, and welcome to Gehenna Gaming, where we tell dark stories and support inclusivity in gaming. I am Ian E. Muller, founder and keeper for tonight's game. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Mass of Nyarla Thotep, a Call of 7th edition Call of Cthulhu adventure. We'll be telling this story in eight episode seasons, running through the entire campaign with a host of guests and a fantastic cast that I'm excited to introduce to you now, starting with Rhea. Hello, I'm Raya Sunshine, and I will be playing Love LaRue. Hello, I'm Salem Sharp, and I will be playing Dr. Oliver West. I'm Olufemi Showamimo, you can just call me Femi. I'll be playing Adrian Beaumont. I'm Sharon Paris, I'll be playing Ophelia Click. My name is Tyler Sutherland, playing Nicholas Porter. Fantastic. Before we get started, I want to thank all of our wonderful sponsors for this series, Eldritch Foundry, Norse Foundry, <laughs> the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society, Infinite Black, and of course, Chaosium. Stay tuned till the end where we have a special giveaway of a $50 Eldritch Foundry gift card and make sure you check out other episodes where we have some other fantastic goodies to give away. We also have a 10% off discount code you can use at Norse Foundry if you use Gehenna 10 at checkout. But without further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> We open on five friends, standing before a hotel room door, 410, shining in the bright light from the hall lamp. The busy sounds of the New York City streets can be heard from a window cracked open down the hall. This is the first time you five have seen each other in around four years. Well, maybe not all of you. But as you look at each other, a sense of foreboding grips you and we fade to black, shifting to a different busy night, half a world away, four years ago, at a bar in Lima, Peru. The f four of you are listening to the sounds of a busy kitchen, a raucous bar, and waiters speaking in a mix, blending back and forth of Spanish and English as they bustle around the busy restaurant. You smell delicious seafood cooking and a faint, Cloying perfume, masking, maybe it's coming from the ocean, but a little bit of rot, you know, that smell you get when you're near a dock. It, per, Lima is still a industrial city to a certain degree. You've all been summoned here thanks to a short news clip, uh, short article in the newspaper. Um, not quite a help wanted ad, but it caught your attention for various different reasons, which we'll get into shortly. Search for ancient pyramid in Peru. Explorer plans expedition to discover site of lost civilization. Lima, January 12th. Explorer Augustus Larkin is planning an expedition to the southern highlands of Peru, where he hopes to identify the site of a pyramid long forgotten by history. Following this discovery, of a number of gold artifacts in the region, Larkin believes that he has found evidence that will lead him to their source. He is currently in Lima, planning the expedition and is recruiting companions and possible backers. I'll hand that around for everyone to look at. We'll open the scene with the, the four of you. Everyone except for Dr. Oliver. Sitting at a table with Augustus Larkin, his companion, Luis de Mendoza, and a, another gentleman from New York, actually, who goes by the name Jesse Hughes. We open as Oliver takes his seat, rushing in, running a little behind, <clears throat> coming from the hotel down the street where rooms have been booked for all of you. The last of the six to join this Augustus Larkin's party. Sorry. You're late. I, oh. I slept in. I didn't get a ton of sleep. Um, sue me. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Here, read this. And Oliver, as you are the last to arrive, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um... The first thing you notice is that Oliver is a very tall, skinny man. Um, he's around six feet tall, and he is very... He looks very tired. He looks like he has just pulled 
two all-nighters in a row constantly. Um, he's got white hair, but you see it's a little... It, it's brown in, like, underneath, so you don't think it's what he was born with. Um, and he uh, carries with him a, a, a lab coat, but he doesn't wear it because it's hot as shit here. It is um, very warm and very humid. Yeah, he's not a great fan of that. He does. <laughs> he wants to be anywhere but here. Um, he sits down next to Love, um, who he came with. Um, they have seemed to be very familiar with one another. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to tell about him. He really looks like he just he need. He looks like he needs like a good meal and a good nap. <laughs> Speaking of Love. Hello. Looking over at Love, you see an absolutely breathtaking woman sitting across the table from uh, the rest of you and next to Oliver, wearing a green travel dress, some elegant heels. Why she's in heels? No one knows. She's got a sh really short black bob, but you notice that the hairs on it aren't necessarily anything that you can see as human hair. It's very clearly a wig. <laughs> but every time you see her, she has it on her head. And it has never come in, come off. <laughs> and she holds herself with a very high back posture. And... It's very night and day, these two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and for the rest of you, the gentleman who summoned you all here, Larkin, He's very thin, almost gaunt, um, wearing a white linen suit. He has a very excited, happy expression. He's been chatting with you for a while, was holding off on answering your questions until Oliver arrived, but um, almost nervous about meeting you, maybe. You're not quite sure. <laughs> uh, his companion, on the other hand, um, De Mendoza, is, again, similar to... Love and Oliver, the complete opposite. Dower, aggressive looking, does not seem happy to be there, seems agitated, um, particularly when the other member of the party, Jesse, speaks and asks questions. Jesse is a uh, middle aged young African American man from New York. Uh, he has introduced himself as a bit of a uh, want to be explorer journalist uh, wanted to, to tell the story of what's going on here and he is definitely asking a lot of questions mm. um, that keep getting pushed off because as I said Larkin was waiting for Oliver to arrive and that is where the rest of you have been sitting for probably the last 15-20 minutes yeah Oliver looks out of breath from walking from the bar to his seat <laughs> like <laughs> For a doctor, he does not look like he takes care of himself. It's fine. We're fine. <clears throat> I'd ask for coffee, but it's too hot. It's always too hot it's for coffee here. so hot. I certainly have something more refreshing than a coffee here. My good man, you, you look like you're on death's door almost. I mean, I med school will do that to you. Um, uh, understandable. I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of these. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And since uh. you were the next one to speak up, Adrian, why don't you introduce yourself? Certainly. Um, Adrian Beaumont is um, considerably younger than myself, considerably uh, thinner than myself, considerably whiter than myself. Um, he's got kind of a, so he's about 20, right now he's about 20-ish. Um, he's got an easy smile, but if you were to look at him long enough, you would see his, his eyes kind of start to wander and him to have almost a, a far away nervousness to it. But but if he catches you looking at him, he'd again throw on that easy smile very easily. He's got kind of a black hair that's sort of slicked back in maybe a pompadour. Um, he, he is white, but he's kind of swarthy. He looks tanned or possibly Italian or something like that. Um, and he looks like he's fit. He's in good shape. He's also overdressed for the occasion. Not necessarily a tuxedo, but he is overdressed <laughs> and he is sweating. So, you know, call someone over. Presumably there's someone here. who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the minute you raise your hand, this is a nice restaurant attached to a different hotel. <laughs> Basically, uh, a waiter comes over. Yes, yes, sir. What would you recommend for 
few people who are feeling out of place and would like to feel more natural in this new environment. Oh, excellent. Uh, he says I can mix you up uh, some cocktails or uh, some, perhaps some water to uh, yeah. hydrate yourselves before Please. imbibing. I never touch the stuff, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but certainly drinks all around, everyone. Cocktail. Water. Water's fine for me. I'll have a drink. Okay, okay. Uh, preferences, or would you all like something local? Something local. Let's be adventurous. Okay. I mean, why else are we here? I, cause someone dragged me. I, I'm not strong enough to drag you, Oliver. Not physically. <laughs> I'll just have a whiskey. So Certainly. certainly. Uh, and the waiter takes the re- orders from the rest of the table and Sweeps off. This, I guess I'm gonna be the one to ask it. Um, why is everybody here? I mean, I know that we all got the the same. Like, we we all saw the ad, but there. I mean, there's got to be different reasons for everybody. And for the everyone here except for Oliver, because Oliver was dragged along by love. <laughs> <coughs> You, this is the telegraph you would have received in writing you. Um, while you are reading that, and I'll read it once it passes back around to me, the last two members of our party, Ophelia, why don't you introduce yourself? Ophelia Click is um, a black woman with, she's skinny, um, with uh, no dress, just like normal hair that's like pressed down. Um, and she's worked her way up through Libraries and museums to get her place in Guggenheim. Um, and she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and not, not hot like that. Like she's like hot. And she's here waiting to hear about these artifacts. Okay. And last but not least, Nicholas. So my name is Nicholas Porter. I am here for money. Easy <laughs> enough. Uh, there are always things that people need moved, literally being a porter, that is what I do. If you need a little bit of extra security (laughs) or just presence, I can be there as well. Uh, Nicholas is shorter, younger, and stockier than I look. Um, By age, he's probably in the early 20s. Just missed the recruitment age by the end of World War I. Mm. Mm. Okay. That reminds me, I probably should have also mentioned, Oliver looks like he's in his like mid, it's, it's hard to tell how old he is based on how shitty he looks. <laughs> You'd guess mid to late twenties. He's definitely uh, age aged. Yeah, the white <laughs> from, hair doesn't help. From the the school, we'll yeah. say. Yeah. Uh huh. They stress. So um, I mean, I got dragged along, but other than that, um, I want to see what Peru has to offer, medicine wise. I know there's been a lot of research here about a certain plants that they found here. I haven't done that much research. Mm. Well, not to speak out of turn, I, I have business dealings not too far from here, one, one country over, and I received an invitation that sounded intriguing. I thought uh, rather than heading back up to New York, I might swing by Peru. I've not actually been here mm. before. And what is it that you do? Well, <laughs> currently... Mostly this, <laughs> but uh, but eventually it will fall upon me to take over my my father's coffee business. Oh, I've I see. forgotten the name of my coffee business. <laughs> I have it written down. But yes, my father's generic. But coffee let's just business. say that I say the name uh, Beaumont. Let's say it's Beaumont Coffee. If you've heard of it, I don't know. Is it so? Would you would you say he's more of a grower and distributor to people, roasters and stuff? Yes. Okay. So not a name anyone here would Probably know, not. except for sense. maybe the restaurant itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and at that point, um, especially with what you mentioned, Oliver Larkin pipes up and he says, "Oh yes, uh, I, this area is rife with interesting discoveries." It, very untapped. The, the there's definitely uh, some interesting plant life. I'm sure you'll see on our our trip. I'm also here to make sure that this one doesn't get herself killed. Oh, of course, of course. I just want to see Peru. Uh huh. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> the telegram that Larkin sent all of you, except for 
Dr. West, said, <laughs> thank you for joining the expedition. Stop. Please join me in Lima. Stop. Have booked you a room at Hotel Maori. Stop. Meet 18 March at 7 p.m. at Bar Coronado. And then that's the address. So. And he, he continues. He says, so now now that we are all here, uh, and please feel free to order some food. It's on me. Uh, drinks as well, obviously. Um, what questions do you have? I'd be happy to answer anything you want to know about our our adventure. How long is the job? Oh, it should only take us a couple days to get to the area uh, that I heard about um and from there uh you know obviously reporting recording the findings and then back here so a week at most and what are we searching for so uh what i discovered was there are some ruins um near a town much further south uh, near lake titicaca uh that uh, are rife with gold <laughs> artifacts you made that up it's yeah. not it's There's a real absolutely lake. no way that's an it's my it is. favorite it, it really is. I swear. Okay. Like, and if you need me to break character, I will. That's a real lake. Uh, no, I, I know it's a real lake. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, this. and whoever named it is forever my hero. And, La <laughs> and, and Larkin goes, oh, no, no, no. See, see. And he pulls a map out, and he shows you. He's like, it's right here. It's right here. And he hands you the map so that you can take a look at it. You said you heard about it. Who did you hear it from? Yes. Oh, some locals. Uh, they stumbled upon it, and I was able to pay them handsomely for some of these artifacts that they found. Uh, but they said there's more, so I would like to go up and take a look myself. And, <laughs> excuse me, I have a question. Um, so, well, he mentions work. You, were, you also mentioned you were looking for investors as well. Well, of this... course, I need, I need to fund this expedition. Mm. Um, my, my own resources will only go so far. Perfect. Well, I would love to help you with this as long as I get to tag along. And <laughs> oh, of course. And and uh, Oliver is your your brother, br brother yeah. who, of course, also wanted to come to see if there were any exciting new medical. Yes, wanted to come. Let's here. go with that. Mm -hmm. um, wanted. I, again, I'm I, I I'm. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I disrespect your work it's wonderful work anthropology needs to be done but um i'm not really built for peru um <laughs> yeah d mendoza um, is actually the laughs at that mm -hmm. it's one of the first times he's spoken this entire time no oh, weird <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna comment on it the guy can live his life um yeah but i'm i'm i came all the way here might as well finish of course, of course. Exactly what sort of dangers is it you're anticipating on this e expedition? Yeah, that is a good idea, considering so, the fact that I will be in charge of healing you guys. <laughs> I don't I don't necessarily know if it's going to be dangerous. Um obviously there are there's inherent dangers of being in the countryside and um I guess this is a r ruined pyramid, so you know, the dangers of exploring a ruins, of course, but I don't and wildlife i see i'm sorry i i heard concerns about about possible death and i don't know i brought my hackles up i suppose but i agree <laughs> i'm for it <laughs> is this a race do other people know about this yeah no actually other than the locals and the locals you know superstitious of course not interested in exploring an old ruins near their home um so, and as, as i said he pulls out a large bar uh, of gold, not quite a. Uh, it looks like it was a piece of a larger necklace, um, kind of like partially rounded, and he sets it on the table. Holy shit! Does it make a clink? Uh, it's it? heavy, <laughs> uh, implying <laughs> that it is, of course, solid gold. Damn. Um. Yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I trust me, um, from what I have been told, there is plenty more like this. Superstitions, though? They're superstitious? The locals are? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Wouldn't that raise some concern? I'm not superstitious. Is it like folklore? Like local Yeah, what, what have the, the locals been saying, just out of curiosity? Uh, uh, honestly, I'm not super... I didn't ask. 
Well, I mean, <clears throat> superstition is what's keeping everyone else out so that we can go in. I'd say it's a positive. I think, I'm just saying, if the locals don't want to go, maybe we shouldn't. Because in my work, normally, if people aren't doing something, like we shouldn't mess with it. We shouldn't mess with people's culture. I mean, you're free to stay here. Well, I mean, we don't... Uh, it, it, it... How do I put this? If you are worried about messing with people's culture, perhaps you are the best suited to come with us to make sure things are done respectfully, because otherwise I'm just going to take all of this and sell it. And I won't know. Damn, you're right. Yeah, and I'm not great with history. Kind of flunked it in school. I aced it. Shop. You're right. I'll come. Perfect. You can help us identify artifacts and make sure, you know, things are handled appropriately. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, was it? Uh, you said you were a journalist looking for answers about something. Oh, well, I'm I'm a I'm a s s aspiring journalist. I, I'm here to you know, I'm here to make money as well. Mm. Although I I do have another question um, with Larkin. Uh, you said this is all out in the countryside. How are we going to get there? Hmm. Mm. That is a good idea. That is a good question. Um, well, Lark is like, oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I have hired trucks and drivers. They're going to pick mm. us up here in, uh, on a, in a couple days. Um, in the meantime, you are free to enjoy Lima. Um, until then, uh, and then we'll, yeah, we'll, the trucks will take us down to uh, I believe it's a town or a city called Puno. Mm. Um, and from there, uh, we make our way through the countryside. Got it. Sounds right wonderful. There. I mean, do you, how did you hear about this, by the way? It's since the natives don't go near it and you didn't ask about so, any kind of them. Um, so I'm a, I'm a little bit of a, I guess the word is dilettante. So, yeah, I have inherited wealth. And no, I know what that means. I've, I've been, I've been. I'll, I'll toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been traveling through the, the countryside here for a while. Um, and I met some farmers who had uh, been chasing their flock of alpacas up in, through the area to herd them, and they had stumbled upon this. I they showed me these artifacts, and he helped, he pulled another uh, gold goblet Holy out. Shit. You're just carrying that around. Holy shit! Uh, well, I, 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 not not usually. I usually keep it in my room, you know, under lock and key. But I wanted to sh show you what we can find here. Can I see who's looking at? Our table now. Yeah. Uh, definitely some of the wait staff. Not really any of the patrons. Okay. Everyone here fits more of the vibe of you and Adrian. Mm. Um, but some of the wait staff are definitely eyeballing it. Uh, I make direct eye contact with them and smile real sweetly. One of them just returns your smile. He's just like. Uh, the rest of them kind of look go like mm, back to look. <laughs> like do are any of them looking at it nervously or doing the sign of the cross or something like that when they <laughs> no actually <laughs> um, he says so yeah the um, they I I paid them handsomely for these pieces and for the information on where the site is and uh, put the ad fair enough. Uh, is there a reason a few days from now is when we're leaving? Mostly because it's Friday and I wanted to leave on Monday. Uh, you know what? That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Is it's, any... it's when the trucks would be ready. Uh... There. Yeah. It's yeah, a no. long journey. Uh, yeah. and it looks like we're going over hills and mountains, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, how long is it going to take to get there? About, mm, I think, three days. Three. Last he looks day. at Di Mendoza and he just grunts and nods. He's like, mm. Three days? That looks way longer than three days. Oh, no, it's not that far. <laughs> okay. Not too terrible. Yeah, we'll meet. Uh, uh, honestly, you have the city to yourselves mm -hmm. until 8 a.m. Monday morning. On the, We'll meet at Hotel Espana, which is where I'm staying. Lovely. That sounds like a plan. Do you need anything else from us? Uh, No, no. Just, um, you know, I'm, I'm here to answer your questions if you have any more. Or... Uh, and you'll enjoy the fine food here. 
Thank you. He had actually, uh, also you noticed, he had um, gotten here well before you and already eaten. Mm -hmm. um, he had been finishing up his meal when the rest of you had gotten here. But when, you are free to order and it is on his tab. When he says Hotel España, is that a different class as far as where we're staying? So you are at Bar... <laughs> Did he get us Bar... the shitty hotel? <laughs> <laughs> you are at Bar Coronado right now. Mm. Um, he is staying at, at Hotel España. Um, he has put you up in what he says is an equally nice, if not nicer, hotel. Okay. Right. Um, right. And if you ask, he just says there were no more rooms available at his hotel. Gotcha. That's the only reason. <laughs> we go check. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can. If you Who's to. kidding? No, I. Um, I don't care. He says, "Yeah, but no." Um, <clears throat> if you don't have any other questions, I will be taking my leave. Uh, I have instructed the bar; I, they will be paid. Um, I'm just feeling a little under the weather. Hmm. Right. Did you? Um, uh, anything I can do? Uh, no, I, no, I just, you know, it's, a uh, that all the travel, I think, mm, maybe something enough. I ate. Uh, if you would like, Oliver, feel free to make, let's call do this. Do I get the first roll? You do get the first yeah. roll. Yeah. Go ahead and make a medicine check. With my beautiful dice. Um, also, our wonderful historian and archivist here, if you would like to make any archaeology or, um, history checks on the oh. artifacts, you may. Mm. That was yes. really good for a first roll. So my medicine is 61. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 29. Set the pace. Yeah. <laughs> so as you ask that question and you're looking at Larkin, he is clearly showing signs of withdrawal. Mm. Like the nervousness, the little bit of sweating. Does he have a drink in front of him? Yes. Does he have several glasses in front of him? No. Oh, so it's withdrawal from something else. In fact, if... You were the last one here, mm -hmm. um, but the rest of you would know he ordered water mm -hmm. when he asked for a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, keep on that water. Mm? Oh yes, yes. Trying to you know, staying hydrated, making sure flush whatever it is out of my system. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you Am want to I make rolling? that? Yeah. Oh. If you would like to make a archaeology roll, or I don't have archaeology. What do you have? History. You can go ahead and make a history roll. And when you're looking at the artifacts that he handed yeah, he them to you them. to like look okay. at mm -hmm. and handle. 87. What is your history? 50. Oh. Uh, they're definitely from the region. <laughs> um, they're, they're, they, these are either Spanish or local. Um, like one is, but I will say even with that roll, they do seem to be from slightly different time periods. Like one is clearly Spanish in origin, the other one is Peruvian. Hmm. Hmm. So how did the Spanish one get over here? <laughs> the Spanish. <laughs> yeah. He says, um, but yes, no, I'm, I will take my leave. Um, and just nods at D Mendoza, who, again, has not spoken. Who gets up, nods curtly, and they make their way out can of the I, bar unless you stop them. Yeah, can I try to ask Mendoza in Spanish if he'd like to join us? Mm. Mm. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Speak Spanish, you're, go! You are nearly fluent in Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> so <laughs> why don't you make a roll? Let's see how good you... Okay. And it's a fairly simple... That is a... 40, 46. Uh, my Spanish is at 40. So um, you can push that roll if you'd like. Or okay. <laughs> it's close enough Save where I'll say <laughs> a little bit of a s awkward s sure. phrasing, but yeah. you do ask. And he, he stops and he turns and looks at you, clearly slightly confused. Would you like to sit at table? <laughs> <laughs> You, you said, would, instead of would you like to stay with us, you asked, would you like to sit on me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely certain I said that incorrectly. But I'm just trying to be polite to, to my guests. I thought you'd perhaps mm. care to join us. Have mm. a drink. No, I will attend to Larkin. Enjoy your evening. And he leaves. Leaving the five of you with Jesse Hughes. Oh. Um, so... The people who hired us are gone. Yes. Wonderful. Um, you're not... You didn't catch that, did you? 
Catch what? That our lovely host is coming off. Oh, of I did. Oh, Hughes says. Why do we even think it's real? Or did it just get real high one night and see something? Oh, no, I I, I believe whatever he's looking for in those hills is real, but I don't believe uh, much of what that guy says. Would y'all like to join me for a drink? You know what? I think that's a good idea. You don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> Has a drink in hand? Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'd like to... Properly... Sorry, I don't mean to speak for for you, the, Mr. Nicholas, Miss Ophelia. Yeah, I'm here. I'd like to properly introduce myself. My name is Jackson Elias. I am not a uh, burgeoning reporter. Uh, I am a well-regarded author in certain circles. You may have heard of some of my work. Um, one moment. Well, I flipped to that section. You said he was a reporter? Uh, he is said he is not okay. a reporter. Oh, he's an author. That's he is right. an author. Name does sound somewhat familiar. The author, isn't that correct? Yes, yes, indeed. I've written such works as The Black Power or Witch Cults of England, <gasps> Sons of Death. <laughs> I love your work. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, so I am. I, truth be told, I am. I am actually here because I caught wind of a potential death cult in the area. So uh, that thing you mentioned about uh, danger yeah, might be yeah, a little more yeah. serious. But I assure you, I am. That's why I'm here. I'm here to get to the bottom of it and uh, get some content for my next book. <laughs> some of the Ophelia's like misgivings go out the window. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So death cults are a good thing. Bad thing. No. Oh no. Uh, they're great. Oh, no. They're a bad thing. But great uh, thing for books. My bad goal, thing for doctors. My goal is to show people that they are not a supernatural threat looming over all of us, mm. but a very real psychological, you know, disturbance that needs to be properly handled and dealt yeah. with. Yeah, I can fix a lot. I can't fix death. I can try, but I've had little success in the past. A doctor, are you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that, that may almost. Be, that may be it's... very helpful because I, I don't know what we're going to be, you know, running into out here. This is my... um. So you're familiar with my work. Yes, I am. Um, I've read The Black Power a million times. Um, it's one through. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I'm not so psychological about all of it. Uh, oh, you, you like, you like the supernatural side of it. Yeah. I, you know, I get that. I can respect that. I can respect that. For those of you who haven't read it, uh, my book, uh, that's, that's my book that just came out. Um, mm. it expands <laughs> upon... Um, my former work, The Way of Terror, and includes material on Asian, African death cults, uh, interviews with some of the cult leaders that I was able to meet with. It's it's kind of a... It's my compassion project, truly. Sounds like a good read. Ophelia, do you have any of his books that would... If you wouldn't mind signing? Oh, Absolutely. Oh, sure. <laughs> and I just pick up all the books in Japan. And like all them. of them? I just have like a bunch of them in my He's backpack. Like, Jesus, how, <laughs> how fucking heavy your, is that? For your travels? <laughs> yeah, I'll carry my typewriter everywhere. And, uh, you know, oh, Jesus. He, he pops a pen and just signs each of them and hands them back. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I honestly, I wanted to ask you to join me for a drink because I don't. First of all, I don't know if y'all noticed, but that Demon Doza guy does not like me, and I don't know why. I don't think he likes anybody. Is, was he likes me. Man. Okay, everyone and likes I'm a very you. Very likable person. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, no, I don't know. I I don't know what I did to rub him the wrong way, but. Um, I feel yeah. like if someone's too chipper, it kind of rubs him the wrong way. That's fair. I've also been doing a little of my own investigating and asking around about uh yeah. this ruins and i don't think um mr larkin is being entirely honest with us what is he not telling us so i have a friend professor sanchez over at the national university of san marcos i'll give everyone a moment to write that down all the pens click in unison <laughs> You said Professor Sanchez? I did. Yeah, thank you. (laughs) 
I, it's a table full of note takers. <laughs> I, I had a chat with him, and he had actually offered to join Larkin's expedition, and Larkin ignored him. You think he wants all the fame to himself? No, I think he doesn't want a local who understands the culture and the potential significance of the finding mm. and the folklore and mm. supernatural <sighs> stories so, surrounding it to mm. be involved. Yeah. Hmm. One of the waiters was really interested in what we were doing over here. I mean, those were relatively priceless gold. Yeah, artifacts. I know. If you whip out some gold chains, yeah, 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 yeah. Money, money, money. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry. I I appreciate that you're an author who does research. I, mm. I mostly stick to the pulpies myself, um, and I'll actually pull out a copy of uh, the Curse of Capistrano, which I <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> which I like. But um, you're discussing these the the supernatural, these death cults, as if these are actual things to be afraid of. And I, I mean, they these certainly are works of fiction. they they certainly commit murders. They still have nine. The murder is very story. real. Let, let me let me let me put it this way. Um, there are people who believe in, you know, gods, gods or demons or you know things that aren't in the the, the Bible, mm. uh, and think that if yeah. they sacrifice other people to these beings, mm. they'll gain their favor. Or they believe that the world is supposed to end and that by sacrificing virgins on mountaintops, they'll bring about the end of the world or Stop stave from off heaven. the end of the world. But so whole, then none whole of us is in danger, of, right? <laughs> whole, lots, whole lots of different reasons. I'm sorry, ladies. That was, that was blue. That was, <laughs> that was unbecoming of you. I, I apologize. Love he, does not look flustered at all. <laughs> ja ja Jackson lies, chuckles at the joke. I think Oliver looks flustered for you. <laughs> that would track. Uh, but yeah, no, he um, he's definitely writ written quite a few books um, about the subject. Um, the Thuggies cult in India, um, Headhunter cults in the Amazon basis, Basin. Um, and he'll tell you a little bit about all these books, like Skulls Along the River, Masters of the Black Arts. Um, his most famous work is The Way of Terror, which analyzes system as a system as the but, 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 but. <laughs> analyzes systematization. 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 Thank you. Analyzes systematization <laughs> of fear through cult organizations and was warmly reviewed by George Sorrell. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> so he, he, is, he has made a career out of studying these uh, black arts, death cults, the super, people who still believe in the supernatural and mm. re documenting them. That's incredible. In uh, what most people consider to be relatively... Uh, Unbiased and an unfa non fanciful books. Hard to come by. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I've definitely um, also, from what I've heard from asking around about Larkin, and I, I may have uh, made my own trip down to Punya already, um, he tried to recruit the locals to do this. He tried to mm. bribe a whole mess of people down there to go up and loot this pyramid and no one would do it i knew it i guess they're afraid of this well they call it a creature uh it's called a car theory something like that it's a it's like a kind of like a vampire in a sense Weird. from what i understand oh. how do you spell that uh car theory k-h-a-r-s-i-r-i K A H K H A R R continue. I S I R I. <laughs> I was like, continue. You did not finish. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a local folk legend about um, you know, it's like a, a kind of like a vampire creature, but it sucks the fat out of people. You'd be no, <sighs> no. <laughs> I I. 
I hadn't said a word. You didn't have to. Also, uh, if, if now, and this is where, you know, obviously, like I said, I, I look for the truth in these things. I draw the line at some of the supernatural. They said D. Mendoza was one. Looked pretty normal to it me. It certainly sucks the fun out of something. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Nami. You said it. In these books that you've written mm -hmm. and events that you've explored, sure. have you found anything supernatural? Gosh. Everything that I have witnessed that could be described as supernatural, I have found a perfectly reasonable explanation for that, you know, is falls well within the laws of nature. All supernatural things are things that science hasn't explained yet. Yeah. Magic is just or science that, that is has. beyond the, the scope of understanding of the person who witnesses it. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, we didn't know what like half the human body did and now we have a greater understanding about how vitamins affect the body and penicillin's a miracle drug so precisely and some people can conjure magic through science mm -hmm. yeah what? <clears throat> my sister's got her head up in the clouds a little bit so she's rather dramatic <laughs> is the word that I'll use you know what I like that though so yeah, the, the the whole thing is uh, throwing me for a loop. The people in Puno think that Larkin is just trying to kill people or feed them to this these Karasiri, which De Mendoza supposedly is one of. I've talked to I talked to my buddy um, at the museum. He said or at the university, sorry, uh, and he says you know he's obviously has understands what all the local legends and folklore are and has talked and I talked through it. He thinks it's suspicious that Larkin completely ignored him when he offered to join mm. the expedition. Mm. I don't know. Is he a skinny guy? Um, yeah, no, he is. Um, can I make some kind of medicine check to see if there is any sort of disease that could be contracted that would make someone rapidly lose weight? Um, yeah, go for it. 13. Is that, that is maybe? considerably lower than 61. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're definitely... If, there's if a, you want to make it biology, I still pass. There's quite a few. I mean, yeah, tuberculosis comes to mind. Yeah. Um, you know, any wasting sickness. Yeah. So I, I typically would think that I think the locals are scared of there might be some bug up there that if it bites you, it I mean, maybe I something. Mean, and frankly, you want you want my opinion? I think Larkin and Mendoza are part of a death cult. They're, you know, they're luring people up there. They're sacrificing them to whatever god they worship. And I, I haven't met any other members, but from what I've heard, there's at least a dozen. Wait, do you think they've done this before? I do. Yeah. Oh, so I can go why ask the waiter. We, why should we go? I mean, you saw that gold. I could certainly. It could help fund my next book. Also, I want to understand what the cult is to write my next book. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. And, you know, if we get useful information, we can pass it on to the authorities and they can stop them. So far, the locals think it's these Karasiri and they won't go near it and they're afraid of them. But I'm sure mm -hmm. if we bring it back here to Lima and, you know, say, like, this is where that the cult is hiding. Here's what they've been doing. You know, maybe some evidence brought mm -hmm. back. That's fair. Fair. I I thought I thought this would be a larf, just just a, a bit of a laugh. I didn't think there are people being sacrificed because of what this sick individual believes, and and he's doing the same to us. That's that's your belief. Unfortunately, it is. It happens. I've, it's I've, like we're in a book. <laughs> you know, y'all might end up being in my book. LaRue, L A R U E. Oh, Trust me, I will get, I will get all of your names. I will get permission to include you. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can write a fake name for get, me. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> can love like while everyone is like ah, uh, yeah. while they all look for a second away from love, she wants to stick her neck up and try and catch the eye of that waiter again that was staring at her. You look around. Mm -hmm. You don't see him. You don't see him. 
It's like he uh, left. Don't you have another one back home? I have several human beings that enjoy spending company with me. Yeah, but one of them put a ring on your finger. This one didn't look... This one didn't look away when I looked at him. Mm-hmm. I think he knows something about um, our employers. Ah. He oh, I didn't use your vampire powers on him. What did he Not uh yet. what did he look? What did he look like? Super ruggedly handsome. Oh my god. He had short black hair. He had a cute mustache. So like every other waiter in this. <laughs> Jesse? Jackson. Jackson. She puts her hand back under the table. I am going to go find this man. I think I think he may know something, or at least he can confirm that those two have brought people here before. I mean, it's getting kind of late, but yeah, I guess we can go find this fella. Perfect. You I'm mentioning... coming with you, aren't I? If you want. I can walk the streets of Lima alone if you want me oh to. <laughs> Love. Your parents are gonna kill me. She uh she do this a lot. Yeah. Um so ever since we were I don't know, how old were we? Fourteen? Thirteen? Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Ever since we were kids. Mm. Well, personally, I would like to enjoy another drink and go back to the hotel. Yeah, and maybe get some in the rest. morning. Huh? That's fair. Uh, if you'd like, I'm supposed to go meet with Professor Sanchez tomorrow. Hmm. You mind if we tag along? Yeah. I mean, no. again, don't mean to speak for uh, other people, but I, I feel well, like it would be a smart decision if we're wandering yeah. into a death cult. Absolutely. Yeah, no, uh, he trust me, he has tons of information. Yeah, you might get, be able to <clears throat> chat with him about a few things as well. Um Definitely a lot of useful information. He had a he had his assistant who was looking into um, some hyper specific stuff from the region. Um, so hopefully she'll have some of that information for us too once we go over there. But yeah, I was gonna go over in the morning and chat with him tomorrow evening. Can we? Can I? Uh, I want to get a better sense of Larkin. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Or Mendoza. Is there a way I can? Well, they're stay- yeah, they're staying at Ho- Hotel Espana. I may spend some time just tailing them, see if we see any death cults. Sure. You're good You're at welcome that. welcome to tag That's... along. Oh I mean, I would definitely no. be interested. It's in like no, a spy movie. No, because if she movie. tags along, I'm tagging along. <laughs> and you don't want me tiling people. I'm oh. shit at it. If I'm going with him, it's okay. If I get stabbed. Because oh, I'll, 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 be I'll definitely be going along with uh, on that one, too. I'm definitely curious. I haven't had a chance to I... get over there. I might do some research on my own. I I've never dealt with Peruvian born illnesses. I need to know. I mean, hell, like I don't know if I have the medication to deal with this, but I need to do my own research to make sure that we, especially you, are safe. Because your parents will disown me. Aren't I'm going to be fine. Mm. I'll go with you. Sounds great. Uh, if you could introduce us, though, to Professor Sanchez. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to go over in the morning. So we got um, our day booked. Yeah. Lovely. A little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah, we'll head over there because it, it's, it's um, so for everyone, it's Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. He's saying go over there on Saturday and you're supposed to meet Larkin and Mendoza at their hotel at 8 a.m. Monday morning. So you have Saturday and Sunday mm-hmm. to explore and uh, maybe look into things a little bit yourselves. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Well, if uh, that's it, then I'm going to order myself another drink if anyone wants one. And head, head If back you want to go look for this man, might I suggest being sober? I've already had two cocktails, but yeah. I will do my best. Yeah. There's a hole in my glass, I think. It keeps draining out. I'm going to have to refill this. Oh, yeah, certainly. Um, he waves for the waiter to come back over. Uh, Love, were you going to go see if you could see where the other waiter made off to? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh... searching for husband number three, I see. <laughs> um, is anyone going to follow Love? She is moving quick. Okay. <laughs> I need to make sure my sister doesn't get killed. 
Yeah, that's okay. I think we'll. <laughs> All right. So, so Love <laughs> and Oliver are going to see I'm, if they can find out where this waiter made off to. I'm going to sleep. You're going to go back <laughs> to the hotel and go to bed. Mm-hmm. I'm checking the route, looking at the map. Uh, sure. Trying to just get a better plan of if we lose the trucks at some point, where's the closest town if we can rendezvous? Sure. Go ahead and uh, oh. you can grab that map and hold on to it. We'll do. I am drinking irresponsibly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Please drink irresponsibly. Uh, Jackson is uh, joining you. Um, while Love is on her wild husband chase, I'm going to... Um, I've got a 35 in appearance, which is I'm going to play that off as scary dog privilege. Sure. Which is I scare off anyone who You're tall. looks at my sister. I you, look like Slender Man. You look like uh, you have gotten hurt more than you hurt people, but you look scary. Good. Okay. Um, so the two of you had... Where? Um, <laughs> where, f- where would you look for this waiter who vanished? <laughs> The first person I would ask about him is if there was someone standing around him that was also a waiter. Okay. I would go directly up to them. Um, okay. You don't see... Go ahead and roll me spot hidden. How are we ever going to find a dark-haired man in Peru? Oh, 88. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your um, spot hidden? Nothing. 25. <laughs> Uh, Let me do the math on that. I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> I pass. Fail. <laughs> so hard you, fail. You look around and you realize that he could potentially still be in this room. They do all look the same. They all the waiters are men. They all have more or less the same haircut. They all have the same thin mustache. Obviously, they look different. Mm-hmm. But Who clones this man. I know. The facial There's hair. There's a bit of a hair. uniform thing going on. Yeah, but it's like, what if you can't grow facial hair? Like, what do they not then just not get hire? hired? That's. Uh, Oliver, go ahead and give me a spot hidden. Yes, please. I'm slightly better at it. Oh, not when I roll a 66, though. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I hate that. That's fine. I, I doubt it. <laughs> Can I insight check you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fail. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just following you doing scary dog routine. All right. Well, I think since I can't find him, I feel like I want to go explore. And uh, I think she just takes off walking through the hotel Okay. that they're staying in. And this is just like for the next hour. Okay. She's so, just kind of walking around listening to everyone's conversations. So the bar you're in is not in the hotel you're staying in, mm. but it's down the street. Uh, then I will start the way back to the hotel. Okay. So you head back to the you you two head back, you mm. probably after realizing you probably end up walking back with Ophelia. It's not gonna be the last time we go to the ho- to that bar. I guarantee you. Yes. We're probably gonna go see him again. If he's there, I think, honestly, he's um, one of those vampire things. Ah, that's what you think? I don't know. He was But a man who us. smiled at you. Yes. Love, you're, a, you're an actress. People stare at you. That's kind of your job. I don't act. That's filthy. I am a singer, Oliver. You know this. I mean, yeah, but... I mean... I don't know. I'm sorry. Med school has fried my brain. I cannot wait to graduate. I know, I know. That's why we're doing this. So that we can get that going for you. You really think I'm going to have my own practice? (laughs) Why wouldn't you? (laughs) Love, you know why. I most certainly do not. I love you, Oliver. Let's go find some gossip. All right, lead the way. And you spend the next hour just listening to what people are saying. Um, Love, do you speak Spanish? (laughs) No. (laughs) Hard no. I speak Latin. (laughs) (laughs) So you are, I mean, there are 
tourists here. There's people mm-hmm. who speak English, um, but it's probably 30% of the conversations. <laughs> so Sick. just give me a listen roll. Oh, keep hearing, who is this woman and why is she next to us? <laughs> <laughs> 44 Spanish. out of 50. Okay. Ooh. Um, yeah. I'm a great listener. Okay. Let's, I mean, she is. Let's see what kind of <laughs> gossip you uh, pick up on. You hear some people talking about um, how it is unseasonably humid for this time of year. Um, it, this is, you know, summer mm. time here, kind. but it's it's still a little more humid than they're used to. The weather's not great. Um, talking about, you know, how that's going to affect agriculture, blah, 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 blah. Nothing um, re- relevant to nothing you know, the juicy. pyramid. Nothing super juicy. Yeah. <sighs> They're not losing their homes or anything. Did you want that? Well, no. But if someone's going to lose their home, I would rather know about it. Because then I can be sad about it with them. Not help them with your vast amount of wealth? I wouldn't say vast. Hmm. I feel like Yet. you go back to your hotel room, pretty much go straight, but straight to sleep. Or is there anything else you wanted to do? <laughs> um, I wanted to look up um, whatever books I have the with me on like this part of the world this part of the world uh, go ahead and give me a luck roll let's see what you brought Ooh. so luck is going to be up at the top it's not a skill I cool. continuously forget what's on this sheet, so every time you say it, I'm like, what's that? 23? Out of? 50? Nice. Um, you you brought some books. They're not super recent, but you have a few things about um, folklore and um, kind of the, the history of the area. Um, what, what are you looking for in particular? Um, more on the... Death cults and the possibility of these artifacts being tied to an ancient creature. Hmm. Um, most of what you have is on older religion. Uh, nothing has been written about any death cults in this area. Uh, in fact, Jackson Elias would be the first. Mm-hmm. He is the foremost leader of research on death cults in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead and give me a library use roll. Um, and while you're doing that, Nicholas, was there anything else you wanted to do? I'm just knocking back a few with Jackson. Cracking Ooh. open a few cold ones with the boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get more into his stories, where all he's been, what all he's seen. Yeah. I'm trying to see if anything slips at any point. If nothing else, he loves to talk about himself and, <laughs> and his adventures. Not not in a conceited way, but like he has stories to tell. Okay. I'm all ears. So you and Adrian, you would be doing the same? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd be in particular pretty interested in... Um, how he successfully engaged in the subterfuge that allowed him to present himself as as Jesse Hughes, but he's actually somebody else. I'd be asking him about, you know, how do you do maintain two identities like that? That's real. What's everybody laughing for anyway? So that's you don't hear it. It's on the wind. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd I'd ask him about that. Um, I don't know if we need to get into that. And I'd also I'll I'll, I'll circle back to that. Okay. In a second. And also as uh, as I'm having more drinks, I would probably start waxing poetic about the fact that that there's evil in the world and men mm-hmm. do evil and it's and it's not necessary monsters you don't need monsters to do evil there are plenty of men who do evil in the world and Hot certainly they the need to be stopped. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just in case anybody didn't know that Expand, expanding on that vein of double identity for jesse and mm. jackson is there any we have to keep up pretenses that you're jesse hughes oh yes please i We'll touch on that in a moment. Coming back to Ophelia. 22 out of 75. Ooh. Okay. Oh, um, you actually do find some writing about Carter Siri. Um, you find a little bit, just local legends. They are um, either local or um, came over like as a curse with the Spanish conquistadors. 
They are a mm-hmm. vampire-like creature that appears human. Uh, most of them are very pale, almost European in feature, and they suck the fat out of living beings and feed off of it, leaving horrible gaping wounds on their victims. Mm. Okay. Did that guy look like that? He certainly had European features. He was gaunt. Uh, Not sickly, but just thin, like underfed looking. um, And angry. (laughs) Alright, so he might be one. (laughs) uh, That is what the locals in Puno believe, yes. And according to what you read in your book, yeah, I mean... They're not that far off from the description. Okay. I, I know I'm not there, but th- does the book say that the victims were left dead or alive? Dead. Okay, so they <laughs> suck the fat till the point. And holes in them. desiccated. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I go to sleep. Okay. Some, <laughs> some nice bedtime reading. With those images in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmares. Yeah. Uh, some light reading. Before we say... <laughs> The rest of you go to sleep. Uh, he does elaborate and say, yes, I would prefer that you called me Jesse um, around Larkin and Di Mendoza. I, I don't want them to catch wind if they've heard of me, you know, in my work. I don't want them to think, you know, discover the real reason I'm down here. You know, I'm not, we're, I'm worried they'll just kick me out and not let me come along sort of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially if they are part of a death cult. <laughs> well, we, we do appreciate you being forthright, forthcoming, forth uh, being honest with us about, about uh, Another who drink? you are. You know, I'm already here. I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> it is, hey, it is Larkin's tab. Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah, he, he will wax poetically about um, keeping it. He says it's, it's not something he does all the time, but regularly especially when he's investigating something he does create a fake persona and That's jesse hughes is once he's used several times he doesn't have like documentation or anything under that name but mm-hmm. it's very much a like alter ego just to fly under the radar with some of the the people he has to deal with huh. yeah uh if that is all the sun sets the sun rises skin no one... care routine happens <laughs> By the time you're done, like Oliver, like rolls out of bed, kind of brushes his hair down, puts his glasses on, and he's fine. Love rolls out of bed with her hair perfectly already on. Mm-hmm. She just gets out of bed and comes downstairs. Yeah. Uh, Adrian, a little hungover, but you're young enough to shake it off. Uh, Jesse or Jackson, probably much the same. I keep screwing it up now. Uh, Ophelia. Obviously, you were not drinking, so you're fine. <laughs> Nicholas mm. did not indulge as heavily, perhaps. Man, and so. this heat, too. Yeah. <sighs> um, but yeah, you, you, you want... rise and awaken <laughs> at... Oh, what hotel did he put you up in? I remember. Maori? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, you <laughs> w- wake up at Hotel Maori um, to some nice continental breakfast. Mm. I think mm. that was a thing in the 1920s. <laughs> uh, Intercontinental. Strong coffee. Intercontinental, <laughs> Intercontinental breakfast, yes. Uh, if you do head downstairs, you will run into Jackson Elias, getting mm. some coffee, reading a local newspaper. He appears to read Spanish. Um, and you did hear him speaking Spanish to some of the wait staff last night, I will say. Um, and he says that meet around 11 to head over to the... Um, Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology to chat with Professor Sanchez. I think I'm going to say that Love and Oliver come down a little later for you took a while to get ready and I think you also helped me get ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit. A little more presentable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Making sure I don't go out of the house looking as bad. It's incredible. All I did was help him shower. Oh my God. Don't listen to her. Is Larkin covering breakfast, too? No. Okay. Oh, actually, your breakfast is included in your hotel, which Larkin uh-huh. is paying for, so we'll say yes. Yes. My, <laughs> my cheeks are stuffed like a chip on <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will say I immediately get myself a cup of black coffee. Well, Love. the same. <laughs> Love orders a lot 
of food. Yeah. I just picked a up lot. the plate. <laughs> so, Miss, um, it was Ophelia. Yes. yes. I understand you were doing some research last night. You told us you were going to do that, right? Did... No. Oh, she didn't tell? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. How's it going? I feel like you do some research. <laughs> you seem like a bookish sort. I don't know. How did you How did you spend the evening? <laughs> I did some light reading, then I went to sleep. Uh, <laughs> some of Jesse's books. <laughs> the, the, okay. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, I, I think what my acquaintance here is trying to say is that you seem like the academic type. No? Uh, yeah, I kind of am. Yeah. <laughs> do you mind me asking what you do? I'm an archi- <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Many years you have to go to the school Peruvian for that. he gets to you. <laughs> I'm an archivist for the Guggenheim Museum. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's really impressive, actually. How did you get a job like that? Worked my, worked my way up <laughs> from <laughs> librarians. Damn, that's incredible. That's real good. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I, I know we had just met. I didn't mean to be like, you seem like this kind of person. I'm not one to judge, I promise. I just, it's... It's the glasses. One intellect to another. It's, mm. it's nice to meet. Nice to meet you, too. I'm not making any assumptions. I promise. <laughs> I just know this one too well. I mean, we all appear to be in a similar boat situation. I, I don't think uh, there's anything wrong with us becoming slightly more acquainted, at least. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I meant to ask last night. Um, considering the fact that I don't think there's any... Plenty of doctors. No medical doctors. Anybody have any pre-existing conditions I should know about? Lovely. All right, next question. <laughs> I'm claustrophobic. But being out here, that's hopefully not going to be an issue. We're going into a pyramid. Yeah, you do know we're going to ruins, I'll get right? you to the pyramid. You'll have to pay me a lot more to get me inside. But that's what the gold is for, mm. yeah? That's like One a lot of money. step at a time, please. <laughs> All right. I'm One. not going to try and make you do nothing. One step into the pyramid at a time. She'll hold your hand. I will. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on the table, there are plates that she has ordered that have been untouched. And they're like kind of sitting on not the edge of the table, but like away from anyone's arm's reach. So it looks like she's saving a majority of what she ordered for herself, but she is only eating off of one plate. Are you hoping he'll come by and take the plates? No. You know, it'll work better when there's stuff not on them. I know what I'm doing, Oliver. All right. <clears throat> Don't come crying to me for help. <sighs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm literally just waiting here for love to ask me to do something. And I guess, do you just ch chit-chat and get to know each other a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, if there's nothing else, time moves forward around 11. As everyone leaves, uh, Love goes specifically to the kitchen staff and is like, all of those plates, do not clear them. If you throw them away, you will have a bad time with me. Okay. Those plates of food are for everyone who works here. And she took count of who was on shift that day. Okay. Hmm. A philanthropist through and through. <laughs> and she just leaves. Okay. After that. So around 11, <laughs> uh, Jackson Elias swings by and is like, y'all ready to go? Yeah. Yep. I believe so. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, and he leads you toward uh, the Museo di Archaeologica e Anthropologia. The Museum, Museum of Man. And archaeology and anthropology. I'm going for it. I don't, <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, but um, I'm going to take a wild uh, guess. It is part of the National University of San Marcos. Um, and uh, the museum is specifically a new addition to the museum or the uh, university. Sorry. Uh, new building, new construction. 
and as you approach, um, you know, Jackson and Elias making small talk with you as you're walking, mm-hmm. moving along, um, you see the museum is very old. It's been here since like the 1500s. Mm-hmm. Um, this building was clearly built like three years ago. <laughs> it so clashes a little bit. Shift. Yeah, it clashes a little bit with the rest of the architecture. Um, it's just a long two-story like uh, corridor, mm-hmm. essentially, mm-hmm. with for off with offices for mm-hmm. a lot of the new professors and you know um, newly risen students who are working there. Uh, as you approach, he says, uh, "So I just want to warn you." Uh, Professor Sanchez was only expecting me, um, so he will be a little bit like, ah, there's a bunch of people here. Um, I did not get, have a chance to warn him I was bringing some friends along. So, but we're vouched for. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah he, he, he'll be fi- he'll be fine. He just might be a little surprised, and I wanted to make sure that you knew that his surprise was just because I did not get a chance to warn him I was bringing five other people with me. <laughs> Understood. There. I can hunch if it helps. <laughs> Should we? I can, but it'll probably make me look scarier. Should we all come in out like one at a time? Oh no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just want to. If he looks surprised, he's not hiding it's anything. Not a garden it's party. It's just. Love. Um, he leads you through the into the building, um, along uh, the ground floor to a small, cluttered uh, office. Um, you can see the windows are open, and sitting inside at a desk, hunched over, glasses on, kind of working going between like three different books is Professor Nemesio Sanchez. He is a attractive (laughs) (laughs) pointed look towards the Um, Slim, dapper, young, uh, you know, Peruvian gentleman, uh, neatly oiled, slick back hair, well beard. the guy from the the restaurant. It was him. Uh, He's wearing a suit. Um, He has got the jacket off and the sleeves rolled up because he's doing some work. Um, But he's just, you know, at his desk, taking notes and doing things back and forth. Uh, and Jackson raps on the door, walks in, he looks up, and he's like, ah, hello. And then hello, you have brought friends. Hi. Uh, Hi. He, he stands. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Prof- Nemesio Sanchez. I'm a professor here. Uh, who are all of you? Hello. Adrian Beaumont. <laughs> and you, you, you can go, you both go to introduce yourselves at the same time. He's like, ah, oh, um. Uh, where are my manners? I apologize. You know what? We're just going to go back in time just a little moment. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. Hello. I'm Love LaRue. And you go through and introduce yourselves and he shakes all of your hands. And You don't yes. want our entire descriptions and names again? <laughs> <laughs> could, could I potentially roll charm? Like, to try and, like, Absolutely. lay it on heavy. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Okay, so. That's ridiculous. So, oh. I have a 75 in this skill. I rolled a 91. Oh! oh. So, like, you just, you fart. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is rough. <laughs> that is rough. Yeah. Uh, he, you, it turns you, out he's gay. And he you just trip really over is not a interested. book. Oh. As you're coming in the room, you're like, oh. uh, I I'll, I'll let out <laughs> like uh, a whistle note. <laughs> As I like fall, I'm like just like. <laughs> His glasses crack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, please, please. I don't. He looks. He goes to gesture for you to all sit and looks around at the single other chair. It's in fine. His we'll room. be sitting down for the next few days. So I Remember? sit in it. Fair, fair, fair enough. Uh, uh, hello. How, how can I how can I help you? And Jackson Elias quickly brings him up to speed. Tells him, you know, Larkin. He's like, oh. His demeanor shifts just slightly. He's still friendly to you, but he's like. <sighs> Yeah, I um, I tried. I mean, I volunteered to go on his expedition immediately, and he completely ignored me. So, don't take it personally. I think he's going through some um, difficult times right now. With he's definitely things. withdrawing from something, yeah. or oh. working with monsters. I haven't seen him. Most so. likely withdrawing mm-hmm. from something. What are uh? So what 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 brings you? All of you, what what is your interest in 
this uh, expedition? Well, I believe our interests have changed. Um, originally, perhaps curiosity, a mm -hmm. desire for some cash may have brought us, um, and now we're sort of wondering how to do that without being sacrificed to a death cult, I think. <laughs> I will say I, I did that the, the promise of riches is probably pretty accurate. I, I, this, the, conquist, the, the conquistadors certainly brought plenty of gold with them and it's somewhere in our country, mm. but... Fair. Um, we were more interested in, I think, now, I say interested, like we're not so interested in the gold. Um, we didn't realize, I think, how much danger we were walking into. Mm. Um, we never heard the words death cult until, <laughs> um, Mr. Um, and I look at him and, like, I'm like, Jesse, Jackson, Damien. Jackson. Mr. Ja oh, yeah, no, Mr. No. Elias. No, um, Nemesio knows my, my real name. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I never know. Um, no, that's that. Uh, I appreciate you asking if, uh, Larkin and Demon, and Demon Doza are around. It's... It's Jesse. Jesse, yeah. Um, but we 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 were completely unaware about the potential hazard of that, and I I believe it was purposefully left out. Oh, uh, most assuredly. I mean, the the Cardassiri are a, a very real threat, from my understanding, t t according to the locals. Um, my assistant is actually down in our archives in the basement right now, trying to find. Um, an artifact that... <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because you're an artifact. <laughs> uh, uh, an artifact that I believe may be from the same area. Um, I mean, we do have somebody who might check it night. I'm not going to speak for your credentials, but you are the most <laughs> certified out of all of us to do artifact shit. No, Trinidad is in the... So, uh, let me let me bring you all up to speed. I had to give an... I, given our friend Jackson here a little bit of this information, but so I believe my plan anyway, because I want to preserve these artifacts. I don't want Larkin to just make off with them. And if it is a death cult, I don't want, certainly don't want him killing people. <laughs> I, my plan is to find the location of this ruin and go there first and recover these artifacts <laughs> and bring them here. Uh, my assistant believes that she has found some letters from one of the conquistadors who explored the area. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a document from like the mid 16th century uh, written by a conquistador by the name of Gaspar Figuerero. Oh, it's like that vocal warm up. Not Figaro. <laughs> oh, uh, similar. similar. Oh. Huh. Uh, it, ref it may refer to the site in question specifically. Uh, so she's she's down trying to find that, and we believe we may have a, an actual artifact from there as well to tie it all together. So, again, don't want to speak for the whole group, but I'm pretty sure none of us want them those artifacts in his hands either. Can I see that artifact? Oh, uh, yeah, as, as soon as Trinidad gets back. Okay. She's she's downstairs right now. Um, Actually, she should be back by now. How long has she been down there? Uh, it doesn't take that long. It's she's oh, definitely. We should, should we go, go check and get on her? her. I mean, like we can all go down. Yeah. Oh, sir, if you don't mind. Of course not. I would Certainly. prefer it. I, like I was gonna say, I don't think any of us want these in Larkin's hands, and I, for one, morally would like to know what I can do to help. I, you know, I would greatly appreciate it if you wouldn't mind just. Going in, checking on her. It is a little... It, she has been gone for a good 30 minutes at this point. Sure. Question for the keeper. Yes. Thinking back last night mm -hmm. to the restaurant, did Larkin leave the goblet and the gold bar on the table for us that night? No, he took them back to his hotel room. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for something yeah. we could compare to. I mean... Maybe, maybe you Ophelia should... Ophelia got a very good look at them. <laughs> so... Uh, so is everyone going to collect the assistant? Yeah. Something mm -hmm. tells me that right now we shouldn't split the party. <laughs> you this know? seems kind of plot hooky. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to contribute much to this <laughs> academic conversation. <laughs> Why? You look like help. a smart man. I think I should go alone hmm? to see what happened to the assistant. You're going to go by yourself? Yes. Okay. How about you go like five feet in front of us and we all follow you? <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll give I will, you space, I will, I will but we're coming. This. 
I will not <laughs> stop anyone else from following you, but you can absolutely insist on going by yourself. Okay. That's fine. I think you walk out the door while we're like, so we're just going, right? Right behind me. Literally everyone follows like 10 steps behind <laughs> Okay. No, Sometimes. no, you're doing it by yourself. Go on. What I will say, though, um, if you could do me a favor, Ophelia, can you make a luck roll for me? <sighs> I mean, you're pretty lucky. That's what they tell me. Mm. Uh, did I screw you? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Like, mm, yeah, 77, and my luck is 50. Okay. Shit. So you head down to the archives um, below, which is in the basement of this building. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to go down a long hallway, down a flight of stairs, and then basically down the exact same length of the hallway below. It's like the storeroom was practically under his office, mm -hmm. but you had to go down to a stairwell and then back down the hallway okay. to get there. Um, as you approach, first thing you notice is the door is opened to where he tells you to go. Okay. So he's with us too, right? No, or did he, he oh, stayed in his office. Okay. He was like, oh yeah, if you want to go gotcha. check. He thought it was odd that it was taking her that long, sure. but he didn't seem like horribly concerned. Mm. Um, You notice the door is open and it is dim inside, but there are lights on. Her name's Trinidad. You could call her name. Shh. Trying to help. Yeah, I call out for her. Oh, right. We're supposed to be hiding. Okay. Well, come now, everyone. I'm sure there aren't any death cults here. Can we? I'm going to walk inside the. Inside so you the call out to Trinidad. Bye, Adrian. Adrian walks in the room. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, no. So, well, two things happen. Oh. You push the door open more, and you can see that the room on the other side is actually very long. It actually f goes down most of the length of the rest of the building. So it's like an 80-foot by 45-foot like corridor lined with shelves for storage. Yes? I'm sorry. <laughs> How big is this building? museum? Oh, yeah. large. Like that large? Yeah. There's that much in the archives. Mm -hmm. And the government is funding this. Okay. <laughs> That's the most unrealistic like, part of this campaign. <laughs> You're like, I don't I don't have this kind of funding. Oh, no. The US government doesn't care about history. <laughs> um you can see just rows and rows of shells packed with crates, boxes, everything very well stored. Perhaps why it's there's so much space in here is because everything, like even something as small as this is in a crate mm. properly mm. packed for storage and you know making sure everything is padded and well protected that's right <laughs> <laughs> uh every every shelf and container is neatly labeled everything is clean oh, man. That's is... A, this is the fakest thing go ahead <laughs> <laughs> um it's different you can't see like too far into it because of all the shelving and everything mm -hmm. but when ophelia calls out for Trinidad, you do hear a sudden noise deeper mm -hmm. in the storeroom. Oh kind of a startled noise and then a scraping sound. Please don't kill us in the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is called Cthulhu. Did you, did you all hear that? Yeah. And I'll, I'll continue moving in that direction and saying, Trinidad! Okay. I'm staying... Behind everybody who's I'm, going ahead of yeah, me. Yeah, loves behind me. <laughs> okay. Because I'm I would smart. like. To so you you hide. You you hide like, by the door. You can shelves? hide behind me. Like behind the shelves. Because I'm like, nope. So you stay by the exit up to the room. Theoretically, with the stealth skill, is that also movement while being quiet? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can I do that? Go ahead and roll. <sighs> um. So while you're rolling, the rest of you make your way into the. Yes. I'm going to make it known that Oliver has brought his revolver with him. Okay. After learning about them fucking death cults. Okay. It is. It's not like, like cocked and ready, but like, it, like it's, it's clearly it is, on your person. It is underneath my lab coat, but it is there. Okay. It's along yeah. with my scalpels. Okay. And you made uh, them aware that you have a gun. Yes. It's just I'm not gonna like just pull out a 
fucking gun. Okay. No, I made you aware that I do have ways of protecting myself. What did you get on your stealth? A 31 out of 50. Okay, so uh, Oliver's probably used to this. You turn around to see where love is, and love is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, love, you and slide into the shadows behind one of the shelves, and you just hang out and are watching. Yeah, she used to do this when she would steal my shit, and I tried to confront her. <laughs> Adrian, you make your way down. Uh, mm. the, I'm assuming the order of moving deeper into the storeroom is Adrian first. You are bringing up the back of the group. I'll be behind Adrian. Okay, so boom, boom. As I'm, it... I'm going to be back towards Ophelia, not really mm -hmm. super willing to leave love by herself, but I, I'm i very curious, so okay. I'm kind of halfway between the group and love. Okay. Um, you make your way deeper through the storeroom, coming around uh, one shelf and then another, and as you turn a corner, you see a pile of artifacts from a shelf that is partially leaning over boxes, and crates cracked open, Aww. straw, <laughs> packing straw, artifacts strewn about, and partially buried underneath it is the body of a young woman. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I'm rushing to all the stuff that's on top of her and trying to push it out of the way. As you start moving everything and you get a closer look at her, you see a shriveled face, gaunt, like everything, every essence of her has been sucked out. Her face frozen in terror. Eyes wide and staring, and I need you to make a stability roll for me. Because this is <laughs> probably the first time Adrian has been face to face with a dead body. That is horrifying. I remember that feeling. Not so bad. <laughs> and I would like everyone else so who followed Adrian to make the same roll because mm -hmm. unless you immediately turn away, yeah. you will also see her. Would I have to make the same roll? This is definitely. You've never seen anything like this. Okay, I was about to say, this is definitely not the first dead body I've seen. Yes. Ophelia. As someone into the occult, mm -hmm. who has, all right, I'm going to just be honest with everyone. I came on this trip because I had a feeling that there was some messed up stuff going on in this area, like occult-based. So am I surprised at this? Because I'm like... You're not surprised, but the the site itself is horrible. Okay. All right. That's so, fair. like, right, starting with uh, love, you, you are not there. You don't need to roll. Oh, I don't. Yeah, you haven't seen the body. This is stability. Oh, stability. Yes. <laughs> We're supposed to get higher, right? No, you know, you want the lowest. <laughs> seventy-eight over fifty-five. <laughs> okay, so seventy-eight over fifty-five. Adrian. Fifty-seven over thirty-five. Okay, Ophelia. I'm gone. Ninety-five. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Like sixty is my stability. I'm oh, done. Fart. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we fail a roll, we fart. I'm, so, I'm such a child. I'm <laughs> I get gassy when I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, and Nicholas, success. Uh, oh, twenty-six under forty-five. Twenty-six oh, under forty-five. Nice. nice, nice. Okay, so everyone except for Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas, you take no stability loss. Everyone else. I'm going to roll a d6. Oh, no. And you are going to lose that amount. Oh, um, no. D6 seems like a high number. I'm, I'm ready. On. Yes. Two. Oh. Okay. So you each lose two. That could have been so much worse. Yep. Yes, it could have. <laughs> All right. 53 it is. I'll say um, since I'm kind of more collected, yes. I'll go towards the body a little bit closer. Okay. Check for any signs of life. See yeah. if she's just... In as you get closer, um, you and Adrian would also both notice, especially as you were starting to clear everything off the body, she has a large disc-shaped wound Oof. in her upper chest. Um, ripped open, bloody flesh, almost almost like a circular like weapon or something was used to just carve into her. Like it her... almost looks like, like a cookie cutter shark. Yeah. And... Mm. Oh. Um, and her entire body is emaciated. Like, there is not a single ounce of fat on it. Can I inspect the body? Make a medicine check to see. So let's oh, start over go, here first. Nicholas, you are going to inspect the body a little closer. Mm -hmm. You immediately notice a scrap of paper sticking <gasps> out of her pocket. Oh. Oh. Man, I love props. Ophelia. After I'm done screaming. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, love, you hear a scream, you hear a gasp, you hear all of that, and we'll come back to you. 
Slow can horses. I <laughs> roll for a cult? Mm-hmm. That doesn't count. While you're rolling, mm-hmm. Adrian. Yes. What were you doing? Oh, <laughs> good question. I mean, I was planning to just go, uh, 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 Dr. West. <laughs> and Dr. Yeah. West is already there. Literally, like, <laughs> just already rolling up my sleeves. My, You've seen, like, my lab coat has some, like, okay. mystery stains on it. Um, and I, like, he works, you can tell he's he's used to working fast, not clean. And so he immediately starts checking uh like officially like checking because no one's dead until they're warm and dead yep <laughs> um so checking her temperature uh checking response time of any kind essentially going through the steps of calling time of death okay um go ahead and roll medicine uh if you f- let me if you fail let me know the margin okay i am gonna i'm gonna keep trying to get her free from the, the body even if it, so, okay. i don't know if i need to push the the the, the uh the, shelf no, the shelf didn't any... fall down. Oh, just it just it, like it tilted and stuff fell off okay, of it. So I'm, you're just moving some of the I'm crates still, and yeah, everything. I'm still gonna do that. I did succeed. I rolled a 16. Okay, oh. which is way below my 61. In fact, it's way below my half of 30. Okay, yeah. uh, is it? And it's not. Quite no, your... my quarter is 12. Yeah. Well, it was real close. You, she is dead. Yeah. Um, you are able to pronounce time of death and do all of that. Uh, yeah. is, were you looking for anything else in particular? I was trying to see if I, because I've found, I've treated a variety. I, mm-hmm. I've, I studied medicine in New York. I've seen a bunch of weird shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to know if the wound, what it was caused by. Okay, we'll come back to that. Mm-hmm. What did you get on your roll? 94. <sighs> Oof. Damn, with these high rolls. Uh, you have never seen anything like this. And that it's not that you it's not that you are missing something. This is new. Mm-hmm. Although the state of the body is kind of similar to uh, what you found described about the Carter Siri. Mm-hmm. I will say that. Um, the wound was not made with anything metal or wood. Do I see teeth marks? Not that you would recognize. Oh, shit. But uh, near as you can guess, this was made with some sort of organic material. Huh. Either claws or teeth. <gasps> Actually, you have a really good roll. Um, yeah, the closest yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can think to compare this to is the bite of a lamprey eel. Um, that's awful. Yeah, that that's... Circling back it's around. It's gotta be wrong. That's weird. To love. Actually, before we come back to love, mm. Adrian... As you're moving things, uh, make me a spot hidden roll. Yeah, I was. So <laughs> after this, I would like to check for evidence that the thing that did this might still be here mm-hmm. um, or how it left. That is a 29 on 45. A respectable 29. Uh, <laughs> so you don't see any weapon or implement that could have caused this wound. Um, obviously not having the information that Oliver has discovered. Um, what you do see, though is a strip about this thick of gold with some like broken jagged edges on each side and symbols carved across the entire length of it looking like it was broken off of a larger piece mm-hmm. laying the best way I can describe it is it looks like this piece had been be removed from a box before everything else fell over and when she was attacked it got knocked away from her okay. um, and with your roll you can also notice there are some very faint freshly burned skin still stuck to it mm. jeez okay I'm gonna I'm gonna reach for it and then stop myself <laughs> and is there anything is there any cloth or anything like that that I could oh you certainly have a handkerchief okay I mm-hmm. will I will do that and, and pick it up and it I is, it's it cool to the touch okay. through the fabric all right and I'm going to take this also to dr West and point to the the flesh in particular okay oh if someone else has a role that you need to resolve you uh, can do that no first. but I was going to switch to love go for yeah. it love. Hiding by the door, mm-hmm. you see a dark figure running through the storeroom towards the exit who had navigated away from them. Oh, I, I'm a brave girly. I step out from behind the shelf okay. and I go, stop. 
and I hold out my <laughs> like, look back. yeah my uh, derringer. Okay. And I hold it out. I wait a second, and if they continue to run at me, I fire. He, yes. as you can only you can tell it as a male figure, continues to run not towards you, but towards the door. Mm-hmm. If you're standing in the way, incidentally towards you. Yeah. And you fire. Give me a firearms roll. Ooh. You're gonna just shoot some random guy who's like <laughs> hiding in the. <laughs> Ow, my arm! Somebody who's late to class. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying oh, to archive. He was in the storeroom that you are in. Yeah. Oh, that's no. an eighteen out of twenty-five. Who is it? I got a ten and an eight. You know that is a uh, that's a good roll. That's, that's a good thank roll. you. Good roll. Let me. Um... Oh, I was so waiting for him to say, or it would be. <laughs> if, yeah. if you were shooting at a human. Yeah. yeah. No. None of us trust anything you say. <laughs> Nor should you. <laughs> As I try to look up this NPC's stats, and I am there, he is. Because he <laughs> trying to look up the two hit points that this person has. <laughs> oh no, he gets a dodge roll. Oh, <laughs> that he fails. <laughs> right. Uh, he ain't getting shot. He technically succeeded, but this was at a difficulty, so mm. higher difficulty level. So he needed to roll below his half, and he did not. Oh, cool. So you fire. Mm-hmm. And what is the damage on your Derringer? It is a D6. Okay, Jesus. roll one D6. Jesus. Six. Oh! Who, oh, buddy? Oh, Stop! So. <laughs> a roar of thunder out of this little Derringer. <laughs> For those of you at home, Call of Cthulhu is a very lethal game where yeah. you do not have a lot of hit points or stability to get you through session to session. Therefore, <laughs> much um, like a real life, a person usually can't survive a gunshot wound. I will say, I told him to stop. That, <laughs> that was not half his health. Okay. So he takes the bullet like a champ. And keeps running towards you. Not Shit. even. I mean, a, to be fair, a Derringer is a t- twenty-two. It, yeah. it has no stopping power. Yeah. He, it just Mine keeps does. running. Um, but <laughs> she starts screaming loudly, like that. Well, they also all. They definitely all heard the gunshot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does cause him to look up at you as Demon Doza <gasps> shoves past you out the door. He pushes me, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm coming after you!" <laughs> and you all hear the small arms fire of a derringer oh, and a scream. God screen. damn it! I go running. I know me the too. sound of my sister's gun. <laughs> yeah, we yes. all go running. You have the piece of gold. Yes. And you have the note that you found on the body. I do. Yes. Okay. And you all go chasing after the figure. Mm. Okay. He hits the hallway, turns towards the direction that you had come down and is running towards that staircase. You are in hot pursuit. I kick off my heels. Okay. Oh, that, was, that was literally the turbo gear. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, but you are in heels. Same. Nope. Heels came off yeah. heels came off immediately and you are uh love, like a girl move? trying to find her friends at the club. <laughs> what's your movement speed? Uh seven. Seven? Mm-hmm. Okay, one sec. Let me just double check his. And I am screaming bloody <laughs> murder this entire time, saying he just killed somebody. You are right on his heels. Yes. Yes, he also has a movement speed of seven. <laughs> so you run. So he <laughs> runs. And the rest of you, does anyone have a movement speed higher than seven? I'm at eight. Which You're, one is movement? Uh, it it would just say, say move. So underneath characteristics. Bottom right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. Yours seven. is different. Seven. Oliver, what's yours? Seven. Okay. Oops, sorry. And Adrian I'm and Nicholas I'm a lanky, both... out of shape boy. <laughs> you slowly leave Oliver and Ophelia behind as you make your way through the storeroom. It is a little bit of a maze. It takes you a second. So you are, you get out the door as you see Love and this uh, figure, who you don't know who it is yet, more than halfway down the hallway towards that staircase. But you, you both feel confident you can catch up. Uh, just as a moment of grace, I'm going to pick up the shoes and <laughs> hold on to them. Swoop. Right. My hero. <laughs> okay. Elder God bless you. <laughs> okay. So you continue? Yeah. All right. Uh, we will uh, cue a bit of a chase scene here then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that Sorry. kind of chase Sorry. scene. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, where do you... So he heads up the stairs. Mm-hmm. 
he turns and makes his way over to um, an open window nearby. Oh, don't you even dare. And goes to dive out. He's a vampire. You can take it. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm going to try and shoot him in the leg. So you have to reload a Derringer. Mm. A single shotgun. Dang it. That's but. fine. Oh, if I was right on his heels, could I have gotten my hands on him? If you dove forward, yes. you could try to grab him. Do it. I mean, I'm, go ahead and make that roll. I'll let you make that preemptively before you get to the stairs. So the like worst thing he does is get away. So that's yeah. going to be a brawl roll against his dodge. I hope. So how do I push something? Is that, <laughs> is that within distance? Oh. What, did, what did you roll? A 46 out of 30. That is too that's Too much? Far, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can be within five to push. Oof. Or, oh. or. Or you can push. Mm-hmm. So you can pr- you can push pretty much any roll. I like them to be close mm-hmm. misses. If you would like to push, you can. But the consequences if you fail again will be worse. And we're on the stairs. You're you're uh, about to hit those stairs. Hmm. So we we, ra- we we rewound a little bit from mm-hmm. me saying he was about to go out of window. And you're about to go up the stairs, and then he was going to turn you out a window. If you'd like to push, yeah. you can. Let's All push. Right, go ahead and roll. That's a 27. Ooh. So you were successful? Yes. Okay. So you're going to take one hit, one hit of damage um, from the impact because you just launch yourself. Oh, he's like forward. a wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had missed it, you would have just face first into the stairs. <laughs> I'd be picking splinters out of your cheeks. But you tackle him. Yes. Because he only rolled a 26. <gasps> oh, right. Wow. And I said stop. You tackle him and I'm going to have him roll an opposed grapple to try to get away from you uh. as the rest of them as Adrian and Nicholas come running up. Yeah, I was about to say, mm-hmm. Oliver's like kind of windy. Yeah, not, not quite the rest of them. <laughs> I'm pulling it his was really hair. bad time. I don't do good running. My pointer finger and middle finger are in his nostrils. <laughs> I'm like doing everything as a teeny tiny lady can do so to keep so him down. I am going to have you roll basically an opposed brawl roll against him okay. now. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to warn you, he has a much higher brawl. You can do it. Hypothetically. You can do it. You can can do it. Can I use sleight of hand by (laughs) By, Do you want to stab him? Like very secretly, like looking like I'm holding him down. Away from you. Oh, okay. He's not trying to hurt me. Yeah, he's not trying to hurt you. He's trying to break your hold on him and get away. Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? A Peruvian standoff. I got a nine. <gasps> he got a 67 out of 60. <gasps> so he tries to break your grasp, oh he elbows you, try, trying to break away. Ow! And <laughs> you, Love has some hidden strengths there. Yeah, I'm not sure the rest of us need to be here. Yeah, I know, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? As Adrian and Nicholas come running up. Uh, he, he is still trying to break free though, and if you do not attack him, he will either break free or hurt love more. I'm going to attack him. He's trying to hit a lady. Come on. He's trying. Um, <laughs> He's not succeeding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Am I just brawling with him? Uh, at this point, you could brawl. You could. Do you have a gun? I'm, I doubt I would bring a gun with me. I didn't know anything was going to go on this morning. So That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, then you don't have a gun with you. Nicholas, how about you? Since you are also there. Do I see that it's Mendoza? You you both see that it's D Mendoza now. As soon as I see him, I pull out my gun. Okay. Because I've read... got demon in his name. I'm <laughs> just thinking that. Oh. Just thinking that. <laughs> I've read. I don't know Spanish, but I've picked out his name in this note from 1543. <gasps> 
and I'm more than suspicious. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'll, we'll say like I, I dropped it. Should I? Should yeah. Roll? Oliver and Ophelia have stopped to read the note. Uh, go ahead and roll again. <laughs> okay. So I'm um, gonna use my capoeira. Okay. Are you trying to disable him? Or are you trying to injure him? Uh, just give me an idea. I mean, here. if I so, I saw him trying to break free from from Lot, trying to hurt her. Yes. Right. Okay. So I'm going to try to kick him. I'm going to do like a one of those windmilly things where I almost do a, a backflip and <laughs> hit him for, with my two feet. You so know what I mean? Aiming for injury, though. Yes. Yeah. This time, uh, and then after I hit him, I'll try to grab him. But obviously, that'll be another roll. So that is a forty. On my Capoeira, 65. Okay, roll uh, damage on that. You um, should have a fighting brawl damage with you. 1d3 plus db, which is zero. What's a 1d3? A so D6 you're gonna roll divided it, by two? Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's gonna be one. <laughs> so if you divide one by two. <laughs> <laughs> that is one damage. Uh, just from him wriggling you do a and half twisting, point. He, is tw he kind of twists and you just kick him in the shoulder yeah. instead of the head, which is what you were kind of aiming for. Yeah. Um, Nicholas. Uh, closing, not enough to touch though, mm -hmm. but my uh, 38 gun is out. Yeah. And it's leveled to make eye contact with him. So you're just trying to intimidate him with it. Correct. I believe that is a skill you can roll if you'd like. Um, that is. What? I was going to say, if I catch up, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pull out my 38 revolver and okay. try and make an intimidation, but I want to see how his goes. Yeah. Uh, that's see. a half success. Half success. Okay. You see D. Mendoza look at the gun. One, two, three, makes stability rolls oh, as listen. he opens his mouth <gasps> into this gaping maw, oh. opening rounder and rounder. No, I think I'll stay with a few. Ring yeah. of jagged teeth <laughs> as he snarls at you and tries to bite love. <gasps> I'll kill him. Many men have tried, loser. <laughs> So my stability isn't great. I'd like to use my credit rating instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's acceptable. I'm I money. Have to be frightened. <laughs> uh, that's a 62 on 35. Okay. That's a two under 45. Oh, nice. Steady gates. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> 58 out of 60. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me double check um, my math here. Um, what is the... Failure here for. I said 62. Uh, okay, so uh, those sense. of you who passed, nothing. <laughs> those of you who failed, <laughs> one. One oh my god, I loss. need to kiss that D6. <laughs> it's doing beautifully. Uh, you see the mouth open, and love, you will be able to. Um, you feel the grip on you tighten 10. Like, th this is a vice grip. Well, this As the perfect. mouth swings towards you, the flesh of your shoulder and neck to try to bite into you, uh, you can make a strength roll oh, to sick. break free oh, if man. you would like to. <coughs> Gun. <coughs> yeah, but I have to reload it, and I haven't reloaded. No, not you. It. Oh, someone's pointing a thirty-eight revolver at this man. <laughs> There's a love in the way. <laughs> it's a big gun. Love He's got a big mouth. So I'm going to have you make that roll as I'm going to make the maneuver to try to bite you. Oh, sorry, Please sorry. don't die. I will be sad. <laughs> 47 out of 30. <laughs> 68 out of 60. <gasps> Love, you see that mouth open. You instantly, you know, so, something flips and you just headbutt him and that breaks his concentration. You're able to pull away. Nicholas, hmm. would you like to pull the trigger? I want to, with that kind of steady sand, or stability roll, get the gun as close as I can and pull the trigger. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and give me that firearm. Not roll. missing. <laughs> as love breaks free and pulls away. Uh, 35 under 40. Okay, Ooh, go ahead and roll damage. Oliver and Ophelia. I'm going to have uh, you arriving. Yeah. Um, around this moment. Hey, love, are you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm As just standing you see 
this figure turn. Almost unrecognizable from Dee Mendoza at this point. Twisted features, mouth gaping teeth, I mean, rows of jagged teeth, much like the wound. Yeah, I, I guess I've Trinidad. answered my question. Uh, Cinco. Six? Or five? Cinco. Cinco. <laughs> Cinco. Six. Cinco. We're in Peru. Listen, <laughs> I failed Spanish five times. So. <laughs> that is quite a bit of damage to Di Mendoza at this point. Uh, but he is not slowing down. Damn. Do I turn the corner? Oh, yes. Both of you need to make me stability rolls yeah, at this point, I, please. Yeah, after that, I also like this to this is this nothing point. you have ever witnessed before. So my stability is now at 53. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mm. no. 89. <laughs> There's no way. Unless, no, I'm not going to push that. You, can't, you cannot push stability okay. or luck. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to mm -hmm. do that. 31. Under. Ooh, 58. Nice. So you lose none. I'm excited. Oh, no. Five. <sighs> Dice, you Ooh. fucked me. Nice. You, 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 I were, hate you were that look talking about how much you love Betty. Yeah, I know. It fucked me. So, it's an abusive this is relationship. the first time so, this on. has happened. I'm at, hey, I need to. Re oh, go ahead. I'm That's really fine. bad at subtraction. Go ahead. What's, what do you I'm at 53. 53 it's minus 48. 5 is 48. Thank you. And. How'd you do that? Is there any way to recover? Visual intelligence. There is. Stability. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Lit. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do that. <laughs> because you have lost five in one roll now. <sighs> Oliver, please make me an intelligence check. Awesome. Ooh. I gotta get over a 75. Yes. <laughs> so when when you lose more than five stability at a time, you have to make an intelligence check. The idea is that your brain is trying to process what you've seen. Mm -hmm. And if you are successful, it is worse. Mm. So I'm trying to fail. You want to fail this roll. You want your brain to go, oh, nope, you know what? I'll explain so that later. I'm trying to get above what I rolled. You want to fail this roll. Okay, lovely. Awesome. I hate this. So otherwise, your brain fully comprehends the horror that you have witnessed, and it is debilitating mm. temporarily. Great. 46. 46. That's way below my 10. Yeah, no. 75 intelligence. I run stability, obviously, very differently than rules as written in Call of Cthulhu. Normally, there's like a table I would roll on to tell you what oh. debilitation you receive. I'm not doing that. You freeze. You were about, you were like hand on butt of revolver about to pull it out, and you just freeze. You lock up. This is inhuman. This is nothing you have seen in school, in a textbook. This isn't med school. <laughs> this is supernatural, and you hate it. This is awful. And something very deep inside you remembers it. And you just lock up. And then we'll come back to you. Can I start running the other direction? No. Damn it. You freeze. And we'll come back to you. Oh. Feel you, you're fine. <laughs> I'm excited. I get to see one. Yeah. yeah this is, this is, and you, you, you know, it takes you a moment, but you're like, oh, wait a minute. And very analytical. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I know what this is. Um, some spicy flashbacks. Adrian, love. Mm. What are you doing? Oh, right. Um, did did wait? Didn't uh, you fired the gun? He did. He shot oh, it. Whoa! He's and, still moving. Okay, <laughs> it's still <laughs> moving around. Huh? Well. Um, and has it broken free? It's broken free of love. Love broke free from oh. it because it tried. It, it stops trying to escape and turns to attack at that point. Um, now that it has been shot again, he is scram He's like scrambling, trying to move backwards up. You're not sure if it's to like get to his feet to attack more or if it's to run, but he's he's moving. Jeez. Um... And you are basically all clustered around the foot of a staircase at this mm -hmm. point, which is awkward, but. Some stability here already. Uh, what would it make sense to do? While you were thinking, love mm -hmm. you. Can I look at Ophelia coming up mm -hmm. and uh, scream out, What do we do to it? Can I roll four in the cult? Uh, I actually want you to roll intelligence to remember what you've read. Okay. Your intelligence should theoretically be higher than your occult. Yeah. Mm, no. Really? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Wow. Uh, go ahead and roll a cult then. <laughs> Whichever's <laughs> higher. 24 out of 60. Nice. Okay, less than half. Um, nice. Let me come back to that real quick. Okay. Adrian? Is there, uh, is there anything nearby that could be used as a bludgeon or something? Um, I'm going to say yes. Okay. Uh, then I will use the bludgeon -y object. What, what is it? <laughs> you see uh, nearby Actually, there is a, you know what, there's a, a, like a janitor's cart. Okay. And you broom. see a broom. Yep. I'm going <laughs> to cap aura the hell out of that broom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so go ahead and give me that roll. Okay. That is 25 under 65. Okay, less than half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm going to grab the broom and spin it and then break it in half <laughs> and then do a twisty kind of thing and just try and to jab stab the Stab him ends. with yeah. it? With yeah. both ends? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say he does um, manage to kind of twist away, and you miss with one of them, okay. but you do hit him with the other one. So go ahead and roll uh, the, your normal fighting brawl damage. Uh, actually, roll a, it's, that's a d3, right? Yes. Roll a d4 instead. Okay. So you got the pointy stick. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's a four. Okay. Um, he twists... But you managed to stab him straight through the neck. Oh. With one of them. Thanks. Ophelia, is your answer stabbing through and the neck? And he falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Ophelia. Yes. You're thinking about it. Now, and you said you had, like, tossed the scrap of paper. Let's say, Ophelia like, while it. running to catch up, I just dropped it. You dropped since it. Since it was okay. faster. And I picked, you, you picked it up. It. Do mm -hmm. you speak Spanish? No. Okay. Not well. Do you speak it at all? I don't write this it. This is one of those things where you have to buy skills in it to be yeah. able to use it yeah. at all. Right? Yeah. I don't write it down. Okay. But okay. I have no, I have I have a language skill. Okay. Um so you you aren't able to translate the note, but I do, can though you do see like in real life, you, I, I, you really can. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> also, in real life, I could totally kick that guy's ass. <laughs> in real bit. life, I probably would be doing exactly what Oliver is doing. <laughs> you you do see the name De Mendoza in it, though, and this was written in the 16th century. There's also the name San, Quijue San Quijuela Humana. It's like, hello, vampire. <sighs> You're. Between what you've seen in the note and what you've read in the from the folklore, mm -hmm. you're trepidatious about whether or not he's dead, even though he fell. That makes sense. You hear footsteps running above you, um, and you can hear some noise coming from outside the building from where you are. Obviously, gunfire, loud gunfire, mm. more so than a Derringer, has attracted a lot of attention. Oh. Plus oh. the screaming. Yeah. I'm going to run to intercept whoever's coming to check out what's going on. It's Jackson Elias. Oh. And, and um, uh, <laughs> Professor Sanchez. Hello. Um, your assistant's dead. So sorry. There's a monster down here. A what? Come on. A what? Don't care. Come on. Good. Let's go downstairs. And monster. you can hear police sirens in the distance now. There's uh, a dead monster downstairs, I okay. think. Okay, and they, they both come down the stairs. Um, what is... What is... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. And you see, notice that the... Um, doesn't change back once dead. So oh. monstrous, open, gaping maw. Well, at least mm -hmm. no one thinks we're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sanchez freezes. Okay. Jesse uh, Jackson also freezes. I'm going to roll for both of them. Oh, mm. Well, um, that one was successful. <laughs> Sanchez looks shook. Shook it. Shook it. Uh, Jackson Elias has seen some shit. Okay. He's like, okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I he's like, I'll, I'll figure this out. <laughs> Sanchez sits on the stairs and is just staring at his feet for Yikes. a little while. He's like, you are also have been snapped out of it, by the way. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to, um, when I have a moment, like 
Oh, you said he has. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Once the. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having the, a fun time. I'm still not great. Into the neck. <laughs> um, Oliver goes into more like medical mode and is like, "Okay, hold on." Right. Um, what happened? I'm gonna yell. Is is it dead? Is it dead? I. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> like I, if you stab a person through the neck, yes, it's but not, that's not a person. No, it's not a person. Um. Okay, we 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 need. We need, hold on, Jack, Jackson Elias steps forward. We need to leave before the cops get here. Please. What can we do about that? Because that is can going to kill someone it? else. Hey, 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 and he slaps Sanchez. Oh. Yes, can you get rid of that before the cops get here? He's like, I can, I can move him and then... Stick once them in the, the box. Yeah, once the, I'll, I'll I'll say someone broke in. Wait, where's 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 Trinidad? Uh, dead. Depending on her beliefs. She's in the archive room. Up here. Oh no. I'm sorry. You have it, you have him. The to Mendoza to for happened that. to Trinidad. Oh no. He, I I will I will deal I will deal with this I will deal with this go. Go, you are not. You are. You are not. You are not from here. You will not fare as well as I will dealing with the police. Trust me. Um, I will. I will. I will handle this. Thank you. He, Thank he, you. he goes into more. He's like. He looks at the janitor's closet that is like next to the stairs. Then he walks over and he checks the door and it's open and he just opens the door and just starts dragging Mendoza into it. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna spit on the body. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna kick it and spit on it. Okay. Uh, and before running he, away. Yeah. He drags D Mendoza into the janitor's closet and sh- like takes the broken like the other half of the broom from you and tosses it in there and shuts the door. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, "I will." Someone broke in. Someone attacked Trinidad. If I fired at. And uh, J- Jackson pulls a thirty-eight out and hands it to him. And he's like, "You fired at him." He's like, Wait, yes, I and I take it escaped. and I take a bullet out and hand it back to him. And he sees like the spent shell from your gun. He's yep. like, "I fired, but I missed, and he escaped. And you should leave now. Go, mm-hmm. go, yes. go, go." As go. we're up, I look back yeah. at Sanchez and I go, "I did try to save her." I appreciate that. Please go find out what. Larkin is up to. We cannot let him get away with this. And that is where we're going to end <sighs> our first session <laughs> of our prologue for Massive Nyarlathotep. Jesus Christ. Thank you all for watching. Congratulations to our winner of our $50 Eldritch Founder gift card. And we'll see you in a week with part two of Lima, Peru, and find out what happens to our lovely folks here. So take care, (laughs) have a good night, and we'll see you soon.